Okay, hello, Key Biscayne. It is Monday, September 10th, 2018. This is your No One's Listening Show, episode 122. I'm your host, Rafa. I'm here with the panel. And uh, let me introduce him to you. To my left is... Got nothing snarky for him. His name's Griff. I'm back. Hey, oh. everybody. Oh, I'm Whip. back. Feels good to be back. Yeah. Nice. And to his left is... Anna Banana. <laughs> Hi. And I'm back because I've been gone for like a week. Where, where? How long has it been since you've been on the show? I don't know. I just feel like I miss all the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, we missed last week where we had Billy Campbell on and I Manny. I personally am really ta- like, even though I think it's like important sometimes to talk about those things, when they get real heavy on policy, I get bored out of my mind. And I think the listeners more or less do too, unless... They're real big policy wonks. Well, so today, today's today. a good show because we're not talking policy. I was going to well, say, Ralph, you're in good hands today because Jonathan and I don't care today. We care about life, but not we don't care. But we got some good things to talk about. So let's. Uh, first, I want to make a, a little announcement. Ooh, uh, Griff lost his. Fishing rods at the yacht club. <laughs> oh man! Was this on Friday? Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll tell everybody. So on Friday, I ended up having a few drinks. Uh, we were washing the boat, and I left my two rods. So, if anybody finds a pen, they're both pen. One's a squall, and the other one's a spin fisher. Let me know. They're brand new. I um, I'm going to find out either way when I go to the yacht club, and I check the cameras. So, if you took them, I'm going to find you. So it's okay. <laughs> Finally, a little, a little, uh, topical, a little melody that works with what was actually going on, and not just random keys. But it was my fault; I left them. So if you know where Griff's rods are, his ramrods, he's looking for them. (laughs) Give us a call. Okay, let's start how we always start. It's called weekend talk. Okay. Woo. Why don't you tell us uh, how you lost those rods? (laughs) (laughs) So Friday. the PG version. Oh, Friday uh, had a great Friday. Uh, knocked out some work, and then towards the afternoon, we had a few drinks. We went out on boat, and we get to enjoy the the flat. I'm not going to name which one, but I went to a good flat. <laughs> and uh, nothing. Had a great afternoon, and uh, and finished it up with a bunch of rum and cokes at the yacht club. It was great. Had an amazing time. That was my Friday. And obviously, because Friday was so good, I didn't do anything Saturday. Um, but <laughs> Sunday, but Sunday, I, I got to see um, probably like one of these childhood dreams of watching a band that you followed when you were a kid. And uh, I got to see a Mexican rock band called Molotov, and they're touring the U.S. Um, and I got to see them last night, thanks to my wife. So shout out to my wife for doing that for me. And we got to see a really good band yesterday, and it was at the Fillmore. So that was a that was a great experience to hear all the great songs that they had. Molotov cocktail. You want to talk about Friday, Saturday, Thursday? Sure. I don't even know what day of the week it is. I know it's Monday because we're on the show, but I'm a little bit lost because I've been working a lot on good things. Thursday, we did a surprise baby shower for our friend Pupa, and I have to tell you, we had the best time. I'm usually really like the bitchy friend about the baby showers, <laughs> but I had such a good time because we did a little, we just surprised her and went over to her house and ordered food. Shout out to Puntino's Delivery because we ordered a bunch of pastas and some salmon and some stuff and it was all delicious and it was good. How many, how many women were at this baby shower? I think seven total, but That's we're all good. drinking wine, hanging out. It was a good vibe. Nice. So good, in fact, that come Saturday, we all went to the movies together, too. Like, same little group. And we went to the, um, what's it called? The CMX, the movie theater in Brickle, which is like $500 per person. So I heard about that. I would not go. Like, I wouldn't go by myself or not even, like, with just a friend or whatever. I only did it because it was a group of friends and it was, like, an event, basically, to get all of us. To, we've never been to a movie together. Six of us or five of us. But um, we drank wine at the theater, had some popcorn, laid down. It was nice. They have blankets, which I'm kind of grossed out by. But they have blankets. It's a crazy movie theater. It's twenty eight fifty each person. That's absurd. 
Remember when movies were four dollars in nineteen ninety eight? Twenty eight fifty. Yeah. Twenty eight fifty. I only said yes because I was installing and I needed a break, and I just was you down. You got a blanket, Rafa. A blanket and a handy under the blanket. I'm joking. <laughs> That's horrible. I'm Ooh. sorry. I'm oh. sorry. I had, I had a sip of wine today. Wait. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, twenty eight fifty. Yeah, I, servers come to your way. Servers, waiters come to you and get your order, but you still have to pay for that. Was, you know, I was gonna ask because I've I've never been to one of these uh, movie theaters that have waiters and whatnot, but like. Are movie theaters supposed to be quiet? So when you place your order, you're like, hey. Well, sir, there's so much space with the chairs and like between you and the next row or you and the person next to you or whatever that it's, and they've, they've got a system down where like they come and they kneel down. Like it really, I didn't hear anything. And I'm super, I get super bothered by noise and light in movie theaters. And this one didn't bother me. But also I was watching a dumb movie, but if it was like a serious movie, I would be upset that these guys were walking around. I was watching Crazy Rich Asians. (laughs) <laughs> was it good? It, was, it served its purpose. I got a good laugh. I drank a bottle of wine. I had some good times with my girlfriends. It served its purpose. But, I mean, I usually wouldn't go see something like that. But, yeah, it was funny. But that was Saturday. Going back to, to Friday, we hung out, went to a few openings around town. One was our good friend, Kiara Mikozi, has some photos up at Gary Nader. And it was nice. We went there, went to a few other openings. But... We ended up, we went to this Locust Projects oh, thing. Oh, so I had fun there, okay. Yeah, you enjoyed it, so maybe you could talk about it. I didn't like the first performance we saw, but the idea was that it was 20 performers throughout 20 hours straight. Straight, like Jonathan all does night. not like it. Yeah, he's, he's like, looking at us with a face like, what is what this What does that crap? even mean? None of this stuff surprises me. You guys like this kind of stuff. <laughs> I didn't like the first performance we saw, so we left and went to go eat. Went to Las Rosas and had drinks instead. But then it was like one in the morning when we were leaving and Rafa didn't let me drive back to the key without stopping at Locust again to see what was going on. And um, it was actually a good performance. It was a guy sitting on the floor (laughs) swiping through his phone on Tinder and with the projection of what his phone had on the screen on, on the wall. So you could see what he was swiping and see all these absurd women, or I mean men also are absurd, with their profiles and just like laugh about the absurdity of people and humanity because it's absurd. So it, that was a good, great performance to me, in my opinion. That was fun, yeah. Yeah, that was funny. It was fun. Chilled there for a little bit and then went home. But yeah. Um, and Sunday I installed again, which I'll talk about what I'm installing later during the calendar or something. But <laughs> yeah, down there, down the show. You guys will listen to the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, so that, I guess that was my weekend, too, because on Friday I went to that and had a great time. Las Rosas was good, too. So I, It's so been good. Oh, yeah, we saw a band play. Saw a band play. I forgot their name. They're from L.A. So I have to say about the band from L.A., which I think we talked about this, or I talked to Diego about this. I don't know. We're listening to the band. They sing who's, in English. Who's Diego? Oh, Diego's my <laughs> business partner, old colleague of mine that we were with. You'll hear about it at calendar time. At the You'll end hear of the show. about it at calendar time. But um, we were listening to this band from L.A. You could tell they were probably Mexican descent. From looking at them, you could kind of tell the outfits, whatever. Yeah. Singing in English, singing in English. And they're like, okay, now for you guys here in Miami, like for those of you who speak Spanish, we're going to sing a song in Spanish. That must work in L.A. where like not everyone speaks Spanish. But in Miami, we all looked at each other. We're like, bro. We all motherfucking speak Spanish, okay? <laughs> and they, they said it like it was a big deal, like, oh, for the few of you out there in the audience who will know what we're saying. Yeah. And it was like, we're all like, okay, bro, what's up? I don't know. The, so, <laughs> what, what did I tell you? There's a the, difference between the Latin culture in L.A. and Miami, you know what 100%. I mean? But it was interesting so, do, to see that do, dynamic, yeah? Do we know? Do, I remember that the guy, reminded, the guy reminded me of, like, a Mexican Bono. And then I could see that, yes. And then uh, the the band sounded like, and I forgot who I said. I said oh. it sounded like somebody, but yeah, I you did. forget. Um, anyway, they were I good. Mean, it was a good they sound. They were tight. Yeah, they were tight. Um, they all wore these like mariachi pants, kind yeah, of. Yeah, they all wore mariachi pants, but and not, a jacket. Like, jack- the guy wore kind of a jacket, but then he had like Bono glasses. I don't know. But was, they all had like long hair. They, were, they, were, they, they had were, a little look going. It was super LA. Yeah. yeah it's it was very, very LA. Very LA. Yeah, very, LA. very LA. Speaking of, it's not weekend talk. It's kind of like last week talk. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you guys see the podcast, the Joe Rogan podcast on no, Elon Musk? No, you sent it to us. Oh, I saw, I mean, I saw just Elon mm. smoking. 
uh, or, or the podcast didn't was inhale. really good, and, yeah. and it I think it like created like a huge corporate disturbance. Uh, Why? What happened? Because it? the sky of a major company smoking pot. On a podcast with Joe Rogan, but isn't it legal in Joe Rogan's right? Land? But, but in investors investors don't think so highly of that. But it was just crazy of how big of an impact that did. Well, there's a lot of things because Elon's been acting really weird lately. So that was like just a little cap. Yeah, on that I suppose thing. you shouldn't do that. If but pretty cool. Involved. I thought it was great. great I mean, you, I think it's cool. But Griff, you should smoke a fat dube here. See what happens at the studio. See if it causes a global financial crisis. <laughs> I doubt it. I I'll take a hit. I'll t- <laughs> <laughs> I won't inhale though. <laughs> uh, but I know. But I thought either way, the podcast was really good, and, and Joe Rogan is one of those great Joe podcast Rogan's guys. Awesome. So it's really interesting. He's I had he's, to share that. I like it. All right, what are you guys listening to? You are upping your game, man. What's up? With okay, that? talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. About what you guys are um, listening to what? I I mean. <laughs> I haven't even gotten off. I've been listening to like Fleetwood Mac for the last like two months. Amazing. And like the same 10 songs on repeat, but it's okay. I Which like album it. is your favorite? Um, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's rumors always. Yeah. It's, always. The, I know. The one but made some people in 1976, like, that one. Tusk? What, what, Tusk was some okay. Some people like others. I think my favorite, my favorite uh, song, at least right now, is of Fleetwood Mac is Tusk Live, but that's like... Tusk on the album sounds like crap, and I don't know. Let Jonathan tell us what song yeah, he's listening to. I, 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 I like the song Landslide. I think it's a pretty good song. Oh, I like it. It's a pretty good song. Good. Sentimental. Good. Of course. End of the night. Puts on a little landslide. What, what's the year's mind again? Wishes he was dancing with Stevie Nicks. A little <laughs> slow dance. <laughs> Crazy lady. Hey, now. She's cool. Yeah, <laughs> she okay. Yeah. But in a cool way, I guess. I've been listening to, and this is, I mean, I think it's on the radio already, but it put me in such a good mood the other day that I have to recommend it so people can get in a good mood, is Jerry Rafferty, Right Down the Line. I'm so excited because I never recommend music like this. I'm always recommending some weirdo shit that nobody likes. Always, always <laughs> super weirdo stuff. Always it's actually like a super normal like one. vampire music. So I'm excited to recommend something like this so everybody could listen and sing along. Uh, released 1978, okay? Finally, a normal song because I think the last one was like when Prince died or something. That was like the last one that like, that what was I like a, a regular Prince. song. You know? <laughs> Whatever. Jerry Rafferty. Big fan. Big fan of that guy. Okay. Um, I don't really have a song. I have. I'm just gonna name a bunch of bands. I listen to Tyve. <laughs> just have albums. I listen to Proto Martyr. I listen to that new Idols album, which I, I didn't like. Wait, can I interrupt you? I made a mistake. I should have recommended. I should have requested that Nothing album. Well, I, save I, it for next weekend. I gave the Nothing album last last week. week? Okay, so it's been covered. Yes. Because I listened to it yesterday without you, and it was amazing. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. So. I don't know. I'm between. I also listen to like Nick Lowe, for those of you who remember Nick Lowe. But Who's Nick Lowe? I'm, I'm gonna go back. I'll play it for you after the show. I had a professor named Nick Lowe. Really? Mm-hmm. God's cool. <laughs> um, you'll know it immediately when I play it. Uh, but anyway, I'll just recommend another Nothing song because that's. But uh, since I recommended the album last week, now I have a song that I can just say. The song's called uh, "Plastic Migraine." Nothing is the band. 2018, it's like a grungy, it's so good, shoegazy type of sound. So check that out. Shoegaze, <laughs> nice term. Okay, <laughs> let's go. We have a special announcement for this week's show. Is it about my exhibition? No, that's later. <laughs> there is Anna's exhibition Friday. We'll get to it we'll get later. There, we'll get there. Maybe you should, we'll share it on the on the on the page. Oh too. my god, that'd be cool! Yes, so please. people can kind of suck at Anna. social media. Um, I mean, you should have had the plug but what from we the have get-go. Is this week is a, is, a, is a is a key hack that isn't really much of a hack, but it's a little something something. Uh, do you want to explain it, or should I? I mean, okay. Well, go ahead. Anna's the one who <laughs> said it or kind of figured this out, and there was not much to figure out. But <laughs> you know how at the supermarket the Receipts are way too long. And you think to yourself, why do I need all this receipt? I just bought a cucumber. Extra large. <laughs> That's what you bought. 
Okay. Why is this receipt a foot, a foot long? <laughs> oh, Rob. Oh, Rob. Extra large cucumbers for That's Rafa. the first vegetable that came to his head. Cucumber. <laughs> I so, love it, I love it. I just got this cucumber, you know, 79 cents, whatever. <laughs> and this thing's super long. You look on the back, and there's a <laughs> bunch of coupons. And these coupons, you know, your whole life you think, those coupons are probably garbage. Well, it turns out they're not so garbage right now. At least right now. At least right now. They're pretty good. They're good. So there was some <laughs> coupon that was like... Um, 20% off at... Francesco. At Francesco's, okay, for and, dinner. 20%. And, and That's somewhere like, else also, Kibo, 20% off, something like that. And then another place that was a free drink, I think, Gran, no. Uh, and Inca place? is a free drink. Yeah. Free drink with your lunch with, or dinner yeah. entree. And then at... What's up? Um, what's this other place? Where? What does it look like? At Tudo, P- Tudo Pizza and Pasta, it was like... Get one free on a pizza. Oh, buy pasta. two pizzas, get one free. Yeah, or What's two dollars off on a pizza. So you could these, order three pizzas right now. Yeah, guys. these coupons are actually. I mean, twenty percent off is twenty percent off. You know, you got to show a coupon when you're buying your food and get but, embarrassed. But still, <laughs> so that's your that's your key hack. You know, uh, check out the back of those coupons. Those Win Dixie Win Dixie receipts. Look, I always looked at the. You know how Win Dixie has that receipt printer. The other, the coupon printer. Yes, exactly. Not Sorry, the yeah, back the, of the, the coupon printer. Yeah. Yes. So I always look at those to see if it's a product that I would actually buy. It's never. What is sometimes, it? Sometimes, sometimes yeah. it'll be like soap or whatever, and you're like, oh, I actually buy this product. Um, but uh, this other one for the restaurants the seems only like coup- a good score. The only coupons I ever use are the CVS extra bucks because mm-hmm. sometimes it'll be nineteen ninety nine, dude. That is twenty dollars. Of like, I bought a cooler once that lasted me like 10 years, not 10, maybe like five. And I got it for free because CVS gave me nineteen ninety nine extra bucks. And the thing is, now they made it look design wise. They made the extra bucks look like the other coupons that you don't care about before it used to stick out. Now you have to like actually look through all the other coupons, which you just throw out, dude. It's bullshit. Okay. But the, uh, the extra bucks at CVS... They add up. It's like real money. Dude, it's... Yeah. Cool. Ca- like fake cash. All right, but I, I really... I want to see somebody show up. At least take a picture while you you, <laughs> sh- you hand in the coupon <laughs> at Francesco's for that coupon. Well, take really- a picture, share it with us. We want to, we want to see it. <laughs> you slip it to the guy. Don't let anybody see. <laughs> you, go, you, you talk to him on the side. You go to use the restroom and you go talk to him and you're like, don't tell my friend here, but here's the 20% here's the 20%. Discount. <laughs> Don't tell my friend. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, it is Monday, September 10th, 2018. No one's listening. Show episode 122. Wow. We're getting old. I want to uh, say hi to all our listeners out there. Are there any? Really, uh, thanks, for, thanks for tuning in. Let's uh, get to the news you can snooze to. So. What? No song? Oh. <laughs> election update Key Biscayne election update Okay mm-hmm. Now The only thing we're talking about in elections This year And he's not here but we still gotta talk about it It's big news is who is Manny going to vote for? Have we figured it out yet? Manny is split between his two buddies. And we don't really know. But we're trying to guess. We should do a poll. He couldn't be we here today. Poll. He couldn't be here today. He had to go to... Davy? Daytona. Uh, Daytona. 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 <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> big update on the situation. Oh. <laughs> Last Thursday, Mike Davy has an event. For his kickoff campaign, okay? And Lucho already had his event. It was two weeks prior. And I didn't make it to that one because I totally forgot. And Manny did make it to that one. And I, we had talked about it, but for some reason, you know, between Monday and Thursday, I, it just slipped my mind. Or it was, it was on a Friday, actually. And it, was, it just slipped my mind, and I, and I didn't go. And then I went to Wet Lab, whatever. <laughs> so this Thursday, this past Thursday, Manny sends a a message to the chat reminding me that you know reminding us that it's it's on and whatever 
So I, you know, I, I head over there. Fun event. Lots of food. Thanks, Mike. Food, I, ate all nice. the, I ate all the food. It was a bunch of cheeses, uh, Spanish ham, oh, uh, you know, all, wine, all, wine? all charcuterie, wine, beer, lasted the whole time. Amazing. Was it at his house? No, it was at uh, the medical center. Okay. And uh, two, four, two. Whatever. And what, the medical center, Whatever. if you know where that is. Uh, I don't know what else to call it. Anyway. But one thing I did notice was that, at least when I got there, and this was before like any of like the speech or anything like that, uh, Manny was a no-show. <laughs> what? Manny was a no-show, and I'm wondering if that's that a sign. a sign? Is that the precursor of what? Oh. You know? Is it a little snub? A little snub on who he's going to vote that's for? That's strange. Manny, if you want to call in and explain <laughs> your absence, we're here welcoming. Oh, and, and another thing, Manny, I just saw the comments. I am not going to match 20% to any coupon at Francesco's. <laughs> <laughs> so... Wait, anyway, so Manny's he, listening? Manny, call us, bro. <laughs> We're ready for your call. Oh, it's coming in. Oh, I knew that was coming. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Explain yourself. Yeah, Rafa. What's up? What's up, bud? What's going on, buddy? Hey, listen. <laughs> Can I get out to the store or not? <sighs> Hang on a second. Let me get outside here. Okay. So anyway. Listen, I, I was at Davy's thing. Really? I went to it. Yeah. Not was, during the speech. Was I wasn't. I wasn't the early bird like you, and I didn't. There was no food left when I got there, but I, I was there. Oh, oh there was no you, food. Oh, no. you must have crushed the food, but uh, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was definitely there for a couple Stellas. I think uh, a Stella and a Presidente, and um, it, it was good. You know, I mean, listen, a couple great guys up there. Right, so uh, I am rooting for both guys. I'm going to listen to them both all the way up to the time when it's time to make a decision. I'm happy to promote an event for each of the guys as well. We'll go out there and pick up some trash, get people out there, bring some awareness to that. And um, and then I'm also going to keep listening to the show, too, because, uh, <laughs> wow, Rafa, this is a great story you got going on. <laughs> hey, you should have run yourself with this kind of talk. You're, you're dodging, oh, listen, by the dodging way, ducking, and diving. You. Thank you. Actually, I'm here to announce that I am running for mayor this year. I just submitted my uh, my application. Manny 2019. What? No, this year. For this year, for 2018. It's not too late, is it? All right. All right. I'm going to get back to my um, my. Um, well, thanks for the call. Sandwich here at. Uh, thanks Daytona. for the call. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Manny. See you. Love you, Manny. <laughs> Conspiracy. This guy knows something we don't. I know. I know. I know who he's, he's going to vote for. I, I know. <laughs> we should pay someone Uh-oh. to go <laughs> to the voting the booth. Conspiracy now. Oh yeah. Wait. What is it? Go tell us. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to spoil it. Oh. Well, we should have someone. We should hire tail someone. Him for the... Tail him during on November six. November six. When is it? November. November six. November yeah. six. We should have someone and like sneak a pic of him at the voting booth. And post it right on Facebook. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Okay, so that's what happened. I went to that event. There was a lot of good food. I didn't even drink. I was just hungry. So thanks. Anybody else, any other politicians that want to have an event, I will gladly go and eat your food. <laughs> um, but it better be good because if not, I'm going to hear about it on the show. I have a quick question. Do, do people still make casseroles? Do people make casseroles? Ooh, I miss yeah. casseroles. You're right about yeah. that. Yeah, sure. Like on a Thanksgiving or a potluck. But what about a campaign uh, casserole? Campaign yeah. casserole. It's a good mm, band a great, name. That's an American thing. Like a green bean casserole. Hey, it's American. Um, Anna Maria Haurigi used to make a great tuna casserole. Really? Yeah. She I used it. to? I haven't been there in a while. I have moved away. <laughs> you want our endorsement? You bring us a casserole. And, we'll, and we will endorse you for whatever you want. But we're just going to tell our opinion life. of it, though. Huh? <laughs> okay. Casserole, please. Next up on the thing here. The Keepskate Yacht Club Clubhouse is officially over, closed, done. Damn. They're going to knock it down soon, sooner than later. If you didn't have a beer there in the past uh, week or so, I'm pretty sure you're out of luck. Uh... 
you know, the past is past. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, we have a, our fake show that we want to make called Aesthetics of the Key. Talk about Aesthetics of the Key. That's sad to, like, lose a place that looks like that with, like, this old wood and drop-down bar, and that vibe doesn't exist anymore. Just make unless the whole place old. a parking lot. That's the thing. You know that the aesthetic is going to be... Parking lot tea compared to what it is now. I mean, it's sad. I, I doubt we're going to like it as much. Maybe? I sh- You're giving me a face. Look, so. the, the people who have told me it's going to be good are pretty sure that, that they aren't going to make some cookie cutter thing. That it is going to have character. I guess we'll see. The only reason things have character is because of history. So I really don't think character, like, I haven't seen anything of ca- good character or whatever, or a nice aesthetic on the key that is in the past five years. Who's the architect on, name on, the, on the project? Anybody know? They should restore it in I a funky know. way, like the standard restored the building because they had to. But you know what I mean? Use, or at least use the wood in the new thing. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Fine. Fine. Let's see. I don't agree that a new thing can't have character. No, a new thing on the key. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a new thing can have character. Anyway, if you didn't go, you missed it. You blew it. Sorry. Max. No more beers for you. The little machine with the peanuts, it's gone. What's the name no of the bartender? What's a, what's a bartender that, that works inside? Uh, Harold? That guy's going to have to stand outside. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's not going to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I wonder where... I just want to see the placement of the pictures of the previous... Uh, Commodores? Yep. Where they're going to put those, Where they're right? going to put those. It's so character. And are they going right to change now. the frames to match up with like the no. new decor? Can you get in there and take a picture of that wall before it goes down? Yeah. And I heard they're, they're going to sell off some of the good stuff. So if you like that kind of look, uh, it's not a Old bad idea to go look. in there and, and, and get in there on whatever uh, auction or sale thing they're doing. I'll let you know as I, as I hear more. But that's uh, that's the thing. Clubhouse is done. Mm. The monster clubhouse is coming in. End of an the era. The clubhouse. Uh, so, whatever. Yeah, end of an era. I Just mean, like none of us place. are members, but yeah. <laughs> end of an era. Yeah, end of an Griff's era. almost a member. Almost. Almost. In, until Friday. Until Friday happened. <laughs> okay. Next up. Super sleuth. Private dick Griff. <laughs> Got the scoop that the Oasis property is now up for sale. $4.8 million if you want the property. And then another 350000 if you want the business, too. Oh, Hold on, let me clear something out. I was just looking on this website, and I was like, what's on Key Biscayne? Like, what's up for sale? Because you always find interesting things. Super sleuth. Super dick, Johnny. Boom. Yeah. Super dick, Johnny. Bombita. Oasis is going out. No more Cuban food. It's over. <laughs> Guys, pack it in. It's over. So, it was last sold in 2011 for $2.3 million, the property. And on the listing, it says, A great opportunity for a national retailer, fast food chain, no! or a bank. Wait, can we call what's That's his what the face? Says. That's what the listing that is says. That's the listing says. That is whack. Okay? Attack. Hey, you don't care about the key. I'm not going to complain if Shake Shack you... comes into town. Shake Shack. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not going to complain whatsoever. Okay, but like a Mackey D's? I'm joking. We wouldn't allow that. I don't think KFC was the only. I don't know what they those. would do. I wonder what they would do if something like Fast that happened. Fast food. Whoever's listening, bring Shake Shack. We love that stuff. <laughs> I'm down for some Shake Shack. But no big. Anyway, Give me a break. Four point eight million. I know fast million. food, but besides Shake Shack. Okay. It's a lot of money. 2.3 in 2011. Now it's worth a little more is than double. Is it worth that much? Or is that what they're wanting? Well, it's up for 4.8. It's what they're asking. Yeah, that's what they're asking. Yeah. doesn't mean that's what they're going to get. No. Yeah. But still, also, F you because you told us the little Ventana was coming and that was a lie. Look, all guys, we don't know. We don't know what's going on. Well, we, don't, we don't know. And I, that's I my them feeling. That. That's we my emotions talking because I'm emotional. And I'll tell you how what happens it. if some crazy Venezuelan decides, well, I want to continue with this and he decides to buy it. Well, I'll tell you like something. how they bought the other properties on the key. I'll tell you something. <laughs> they did not build out an attractive <laughs> building. I'm sorry. Nobody likes it. It looks like 1985. Looks like Saved by the Bell. Yeah, it's just bad design. Like, this is impractically designed. The entrance, the inside doesn't feel good. The only I just good, feel a little abandoned. Like, you, you, know, you know, promised us good croquetas and you're leaving. The big windows are kind of redeeming. I like the big windows. I like, I, I could sit there and watch people. Yeah. But. Are uh, you guys not as upset as I am that, like, 
Well, he came, been... he burned. Sorry, he nobody burned, burned it to that. the ground. He burned it to the ground. B- burned down hey, the Vintana. It's been seven years. Give the guy a break. The guy did it for seven years. It's just that it sucks that we don't have any well, more. Well, in Cuban that seven years, on, you burned Cuban down skin. a little spot that we like and then opened a spot that we didn't like and the quality went down. We bad don't know in the past if he burned years. it on purpose. Anyway. No, no, I'm not saying he did. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. But I meant to say it burned down. It just sucks. And I say it like in that. Your it hands. sucks. So there's no more Cuban staples on Cuban skating. So well, if you're I a never... crazy investor and, and you want to <laughs> do something crazy, Put up a Cuban spot on Cuban skating and bring back tostadas and Cuban coffee and real good croquetas because if you go now to Oasis, the croquetas are mush. Guys, watch me go there tomorrow. They're like, you're not allowed here. (laughs) (laughs) Joe's not there, so he doesn't. Well, yeah, don't worry. I haven't been going anyway. So because the quality. I mean, it's. So who's going to hire Lalo? It's a real shame. Somebody's got to hire. It's a real shame. I mean, at some point it'll sell, but probably not just yet. I it's really kind of doubt it's going to stay that kind of business, though. It's going to be know, some but, monster BS, bro. Yeah, but with that, but also with the parking situation, it's kind of messy to buy and stuff like that. You probably have to put a lot of money into it. But anyway, just so you guys know, it's up for sale. It'll probably sell at some point, and I don't think it's doing that well. So that's that's what it is. Have you been going there lately? No, I haven't. <laughs> um, I would. I mean, I would go get a coffee. I would. I, I, they changed the croquetas recently, and they're really good. No, no. I, I guess just it the ones that much. I that get. All the ones that I've gotten in the last like three months have been not good. I had one a couple months ago and it was delicious. And they're doing iced lattes now. The rest <laughs> of the stuff is good. I like the hot food section. I like the juice bar that they have. I like a lot of things, but yeah, you know. I, sorry to be so negative. I just got sad because I feel ditched because I feel like it changed in a direction <laughs> Seven that years I didn't. Ago. I, I know, but it changed in a direction I didn't like. And then as soon, it's been a year that it's been like a year and a half. And then all of a sudden selling. So it's like I feel a little bit abandoned. The burning down was the, like burning the worst down, thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And not restoring it. You and know? not restoring it. Exactly. Not That's why I feel abandoned. It's pretty That's crazy it. seeing a line of people at 7-Eleven getting Cuban coffee. It's like, dude, this is you're in the wrong place. I know. It's like every time you go to a donut gallery and you ask for Cuban coffee, you see everybody like rolling their eyes like, oh, no, not again. <laughs> I, go ahead. No, I was just going to say it was such a community spot, you know, and yeah. now it's not. I it's remember, like, and we don't have any of those. I know. Or we have less of them. And and I don't, there's just nothing like a stoop like that where it just feels so. I think that's the feeling of abandonment. I remember the day it burned down, I went there to go like cry about it. <laughs> and there were a bunch of people standing around telling stories of like stuff that they did there. Like business deals, breakups, talk about life with your parents. Um, stuff like that, whatever it is, you know? So. Well. Well. I've got good news for you. Breaking news, courtesy of Can't Decide Manny. <laughs> he says that, uh, he says that. <laughs> oh, no, that someone's calling to no, tell me I should not. Manny so says <laughs> that the Yacht Club indoor bar, last call, September 22nd, you can still go get some peanuts. And some I dig and some uh, goldfish. <laughs> so last call September twenty second. Not sure. I think that's a Friday. Uh, maybe it's a Saturday. Anyway, just so you know, so you're not abandoned completely just yet. <laughs> yeah, let me go to the bar where I'm not a member. <laughs> well, we'll get somebody. To, uh, Griff, I'm joking. I've had many. I've had, I've had many us. good drinks there. I have to say, I've had many good drinks there. Many a good conversation there. So, yeah. Okay, now let's go to the beef. That you can beef on. Um, the village puts out this survey, or they did it the first time in 2015, and they were supposed to do it every two years, but then in 2017, there was a little political stuff that made it so they didn't do it. You can listen to our show from like last year about that. I forgot the details of why they didn't, but some people were like against it. Anyway, they finally put out this survey again uh, this spring. And I don't know if you guys filled it out. It no. went to all of your houses. I it was saw all it. in your mail. And it was free to return it. Don't worry. For the most part, it was all the seniors who filled it out. But um, the survey is great because it tells us what's going on in the key to a certain extent, of course, with that kind of bias of like it's way older, the responses. But it gives us a, 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 little, a little window into what people are feeling. I can tell you that the survey went out right after that girl got hit uh, in the crosswalk. Was it the green paper? And we talked about that a lot. No, it wasn't green. It was like yellowish. Oh, the rec center one is green. Oh, maybe. Uh, anyway. Or maybe, I don't know. Anyway. So, 
It went out around that time, so the survey kind of reflects that. So let me tell you. Let me tell you first some of the over, uh, like kind of like a general general sentiments in there, and then we're going to read the comments because there is a list of every single person who filled out the survey and their comments, and some are ridiculous. It's published publicly. Yes, it's published publicly. Nice. So, so anyway, the the most concern basically was the traffic conditions. You know, that's what people are, are, are most concerned about on the island. The overall quality of traffic enforcement, that's what people, were, especially, like I said, it was right when that happened, the, the thing. And the overall quality of beach maintenance, uh, that's another, um, that was also a big thing in the, in the survey. In fourth place was like street lighting and street lights, but it was, a, it was kind of a distant fourth compared to those three. Okay. The police got totally shit on throughout the survey. They they got they got the brunt of it uh, for not enforcing traffic laws. They said people said they were not visible on the streets, not visible in retail areas. Um, so yeah, they they really got beat up. I mean, it's just I guess what happens, you know. I think they're doing just fine. Yeah. Then the rest of the survey, there was uh, it was it was surprising, like because of the people who responded. <laughs> stop touching that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So because of the people who responded, uh, the. It was like 80% of them have gone to the rec center once in the last month, which I guess we're the 20% in this room who definitely haven't, you haven't gone to the I've rec center, I've been there center, three man. times in my life. Once was to vote, twice was to go to the art lecture. <laughs> okay. okay. So, like I said... Have you ever like, been there, Jonathan? It was, it was heavily yeah. skewed to like people who already use the rec center and stuff. It was also heavily skewed to people who live in houses because 40% of people who responded live in a single family home which obviously that's not 40 percent. i'm not sure how many uh single family homes there are compared to apartment units but it's got to be way less than 40 percent. maybe i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong please I'm, I'm wrong all the time so anyway that's what that's what's going on okay uh demographic skew a little old some of the themes uh of the complaints that we're about to read some of the some of the themes are no dogs on the beach or in the parks <clears throat> People are mad about that. What do you have to say, Johnny? No, I have nothing to say. There was a general theme of like make it easier for businesses to open, which is a weird one. I guess a lot of people have been the rent is too damn high. Well, that was another theme, but it, that one's kind of a sad one. I'll read some. We'll read some of the ones that that came up. Uh, the building and zoning got a lot of shit uh, about regulations being too onerous in the permitting process. Uh, the teens need a hangout is like a meme amongst moms, okay? <laughs> teens need a place to hang out. Don't they have the rec center? Offer yeah, your houses. Well, but what I keep thinking is that like teens, every time I read it, I'm like, dude, teenagers don't want your, you know. Te- the cool ones are not going to go to the public government funded the Teens want to <laughs> hang out, make out, chill out. In the like, car. Like a youth, yeah. like a youth underground. Yeah, they want somewhere underground. They, they want, don't want a, a Serrano house basement. <laughs> <laughs> So to all those moms who are like, teens need a... Open your garage. Something. Yeah, exactly. We used to chill. How many garages did we chill in did when we were teens? A bunch. Be a cool mom or something. Just be a cool mom. And do that. Because those like the, the, the idea that teens are going to go hang out at the rec center, eh-eh. It ain't going to happen. And pre-teens. Is, pre-teens might. Yeah, pre-teens will. But once you're a teenager, you want I, I to... I don't think it's really that you want to get into trouble. It's just that you want a place that is like away from... Authority, basically. Yeah, you're a teenager. Yeah. So you're not going to have that at the rec where everything is hyper controlled. Anyway, another thing that came up a bunch was just how much people are like mean and rude in the streets and like how people are indecent. I'll read you guys some in a, really? in a second. Yeah. But just like people upset. On the like, key? Yeah. That like people are not friendly anymore. I smile and wave when I'm walking around. I don't know. And then parking. Parking was like a big one. And probably because people trying to go to the rec. And since these are all people who are going to the rec, it's like, okay. I think I did see the survey and saw how recy it was and disregarded it because I don't use it. I think it opened with a question about the rec. And I was like, I don't, do, I don't go there. So I just threw it out. All right. So let me yeah. read you some of these. Let's get, let's get to it. What people, what people think is, is important and what isn't important, Okay. 
One guy says, we need a decent grocery store, better restaurants, a movie theater, and other activities other than strip malls. Move out, guy. Just, just move out. It's okay. We'll be happy <laughs> without you. We like what we have. I agree with Jonathan. What does this guy want? Restaurants but no strip malls? Bro, all the restaurants? Like, I don't know what to tell you. Buy the Oasis. It's for sale. And open a restaurant. Open a movie theater at the Oasis. Another guy says, uh, a good quality supermarket and an entertaining sports bar. Buy the Oasis and put a sports bar. <laughs> I, I agree with the sports bar theme. We do need one. Of course. But, uh, yeah. Okay. This guy says... Wait, how, when does the new keyhole open? Maybe it's sports bar or no? Oh. Oh, opening the closing. Snuck <laughs> it in there. That one's one. What? what, is that really closing? Didn't you say that it was remodeling? It was remodeling? Me? No. Yeah. no Someone no. did. Someone no. A couple did. weeks ago. Or a couple was it ago. me? Anyway. Fake news? Anyway. Fake news. <laughs> we need a lot less people, says one guy. Shut up. Or girl. Uh, somebody says, we need a mini golf for seniors at the plaza across from the Civic Center. Ask club <laughs> request. I'm down because I'll go to the mini golf with the seniors. <laughs> Um, oh, this was one that Manny was like uh, hot on at some point. A public place to store and use unmotorized vessels such as kayaks, paddle boards, etc. I agree with that. I one. agree. So put in, the, put in the Presbyterian. At one point, I think Man- I think it was Manny who had said it was to put a little place. Oh, or at the Presbyterian, that would be amazing. He was saying that's at the, part of like the master plan of the, I don't know what year at the beach park to put a little cage around a thing where you could like lock yeah. up your paddle board. Which would be a, a thing. I don't know what, what happened to that idea. I guess it got, I remember. It got, it got sidelined for trash pickup. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy says, add a jacuzzi to the community center pool. You can tell he lives in a house. He, he doesn't live in an apartment building where there's With plenty the of jacuzzis. Yeah. Hey, at least guys, he's trying, bro. Could you imagine getting into, like, I, it, public pools are bad enough, dude. Public to get, jacuzzi. To get into the public jacuzzi, extra foamy. I don't know about that. I like the less people comment. <laughs> less people, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of those. Um, oh, this one's nice. This one speaks to us. Adopt an architectural code for construction along Crandon Boulevard, reflective of a beach resort like Seaside. More no. aesthetic seating in parks and benches. But his aesthetic, I don't think, is equal to ours if he's saying beach, resort, a seaside. That's the problem with the word aesthetic. Just because you use it doesn't mean that it's going to be so nice. So he wants a seaside, but what is, is seaside a place that has some kind of aesthetic that we don't know about? Think of, think of like, the, like the movie Truman Show where everything looks the same and it's Ew. like a little town in Florida. So that's funny because that town is called Windmere or something like that. It's in Florida, right? Yeah, it's in North Florida. Kissimmee. It's a planned, it's a planned or is town. Ki- Kissimmee no, is a planned town, too, isn't it? Uh, Kissimmee? Uh, no. Isn't it? There the, is a... That's oh, a no, Indian, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Indian called, name. It's Disney. called... I know, right? It's called... Um, <laughs> Disney has a planned town. <laughs> yes, that's what I was going to say. It's called... Um, something with a P. Fuck. And it's called Celebration. Yeah, there you I go. Just, I'm really excited about that. So, so no, but, but no, kissing me is not the name. The one in Truman Show is by the Panhandle. Oh, and uh, is in the Panhandle. Pensacola. And it, and it, was all, it was all completely planned out, like before it was even built, and so that's why it looks like the way it does. And that guy like wants 1950s? that. That's what he wants. You think so? Well, you Absolutely, because I understand it. I, I would like it too. But. Ew, you would. Well, something a lot nicer than the McMansions that we have in general. No, but Crandon. No, he's, talking he's, about about Crandon. Crandon. he's talking about Crandon and the strip malls. Probably. What is the, for you? What is the ugliest strip mall? Let's discuss the ugliest. Yeah, the arcade. Which one's that one? I suck at the names. <laughs> it's harder to see from the street, so it's. I think it's. I think the worst use of space and like the square is the best. The square is the, the best. The square is the best by far. Yeah. Even though, like, they all... Just the idea of, like, strip mall and the way they're set up sucks, you know? Yeah. Just the fact that they're, like, m- like these planned malls instead of being um, separate uh, individual shops. shops or individual so rare, units. Like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That's what really sucks. But I do like the... The style, I think somebody really thought about the style of the square oh, yeah, compared space. to like the Galleria, which is butt ugly. Is the arcade Eckerd's? 
Uh, no, the arcade is Domino's. at Gustum and. Oh, that's the worst one for you. For me, yeah. It's pretty bad, yeah. Um, well, wait, what do we? I mean, Galleria is. is Colony Plaza is pretty pretty weird. Yeah, that one, yeah, that's not well thought. I don't, dude, it's not a good design. It's, I'm it's sorry, not, it's not I, a good design because even though from the front you don't really see anything that that that's narrow, in it, just hall like walking through awkward. it does not feel good. It feels. But bad. the arcade is yeah. worse. Oh, the arcade. The arcade is Eckers. No, the arcade Damn is Damn it, what's wrong with man? me? I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, yes. My the favorite gallery, is yeah, the uh, Esplanade. <laughs> that's my favorite. Ah, it's funny that you say that. So from the outside, the Esplanade is a total dud because people you can't see it. You can't see what's right. inside. What's the Esplanade? The post, post office? office. <laughs> Boom, Come on, What man. are you doing, man? I don't even know. I've been here for 20 years. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> The Esplanade <laughs> and the inside with the little... With the, the Esplanade is the coolest looking, but it's horribly but only, maintained. Only because horribly it's, maintained. Only because it's so old and it has like... A, a 70s vibe. Yeah. With the wood paneling. Yeah. It would... It would, it <laughs> that's, would that's me. I love that's it. Me. Yeah, 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 totally. I could walk in there in a brown suit and be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. But overall, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I mean, in an ideal world, you would knock them all down and build streets that yeah, that like kind of zigzag this through. This isn't and QS. Do like I know. So let's keep going. Or New Orleans. This person says affordability. We used to have a Sonesta, which was a great place to get together at the beach. The we sushi. used to have the Silver Sands for a nice breakfast by the beach or a drink at night. Now we have a very expensive condo and hotel not accessible for key residents. I like this guy. What's his name? Uh, it doesn't say that people's <laughs> names. That's crazy. That's Especially public. when we get into some of these, <laughs> into some of these crazy ones. Do you remember the Dueling Dragons or what was it at Sonesta? Oh man, I miss that. And the five dollar all you can eat sushi on like Wednesday nights. Remember? And their brunch was only like thirty five bucks. <sighs> I miss that. Yeah. Anyway. Oh look at this radical idea! All cars should park at Key Biscayne entrance, and all movement in the village should be electricity based vehicles or golf cart bicycle etc this would make the village the first in the u.s of this kind and alleviate congestion slash pollution good luck bro <laughs> yeah i think you're living in the jetsons world dude that's never gonna happen never I can only imagine, gonna happen. like having to go somewhere in a hurry and having to get on a golf cart like all the or way, carrying all, the way all your Brandon. stuff man yeah and, exactly. nah. even if you had like like cars that were the same size as, I mean, it just wouldn't work. No. That's never going to work. Nope. A pipe nope, dream. Nope. <laughs> pipe dream. Unless, like, this becomes, nah, it's just never going to work. No, zero chance. Okay, I like this one. It wasn't mentioned by name, but somebody said, a radio station to enhance community <laughs> activities, important news, interviews with residents, and music. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> is it a listener? <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> Dude, we tried. We tried. We're trying. Yeah. Bro. We're trying. We're trying. Uh, <laughs> we need names. This guy says areas without dogs. Come on, guy. There's so many areas There's without dogs. So many, bro. Get just out go, of here. Just go to the beach. Go to the beach. Exactly. Uh, areas without dogs. Bro, try living in any other city, bro, in the bro. world. I've said bro 20 yeah, times a There's show. a lot of... You can look up this, this document. There's a lot of rants about civility, but let's see if I can... Uh, uh, the teens, I see a lot of them are hanging around. Yeah, that's what teens do, that's man. Teens, teens do. hang out, you know? At the strip mall, I'm joking. I don't even know where they hang out. <laughs> uh, Get it? Says, it's a joke. Like, close the roads mall. for residents only. What do you guys think of that? I so, like. I'm this joking. person is a genius. No kooks. Residents only. I like that. <laughs> who wrote that? You can't. You don't tell <laughs> you who. You don't know who wrote it. That would never work, residents only. Actually, it could work like at a certain time. Like, imagine. Uh, it would then ne- you have to get pulled over for that. Nobody wants that. Yeah, it would be crazy. Yeah. Uh, this guy says code enforcement or condo law enforcement. Whatever. Oh. Condo law enforcement of not having more than two people per bedroom. The island has become overpopulated. So this isn't the first time I hear, I hear this. No more than two people in bedroom. <laughs> so I, I heard that there's a lot of like families. You can't living sleep in with your wife areas. in the same bedroom. No, no, dude. No more. No more than two people. Can't have threesomes. Oh, yeah. No, two no, people no, in the bedroom. No threesomes, bro. No threesomes, rough. But the wife Shucks. stay. Yeah. Okay. So wait, wait. What were you saying? That that I heard like I'd, I'd heard like six months ago. There's a lot of f- big families. Not big families. Like a regular family. 
that they live in these little tiny apartments. Yeah. Like, for instance, uh, where you're... Right here? <laughs> not, well, no, where your where your mom lives in the little beachside apartments oh, yeah, yeah. that are very, like, studio type of apartments, and they got, like, four people living in them. Oh, yeah, it's totally normal. And on, <clears throat> on here in the Garden District, I assume it happens also that, you know, full families living in, like, one bedrooms are, you know... Trying to live the dream. Yeah, because the because it makes sense with the school and everything. Okay. Uh, this poor guy, he says, or woman, she says, a connection with other English-speaking re- residents. What? Wait, what? I'm sorry. What? I'm texting. What? Somebody who has a problem finding other English-speaking residents. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> there are three English speakers in this room right now. Get out of here, dude. Happens. I think it's a lonely old person. I mean, I understand that people are speaking different languages, you think but it's you know. a lonely old person. I really do. Wait, what's our what's our what's our Facebook? It's called Rat Radio. Anna, yeah. stop texting. Rat Radio, one word. No, I'm telling you, listen. Rat Radio, what? Just Rat Radio. One word. Slash Rat Radio. She's trying to put her plug in. Okay. I'm trying to get listeners. <laughs> Who wasn't after? Okay. <laughs> Creating more neighborhood pocket parks so we will have a necklace of pedestrian-friendly gathering places, which hopefully will enhance our sense of community. The okay. Crown Jewel would be a community park on the bay. Necklace. <laughs> I mean, Sorry. community park, don't we have Crown Park for that? Not really. A community park on the bay? Do you remember, I guess you guys don't, you know the Weaver Lot? You know what the Weaver Lot is? No, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. Do. Okay, there's a conspiracy with the Weaver lot, but I'm not going to get into it on this show. It's going to be on the next show. Okay. But the Weaver lot is the Yacht Club's little right. storage lot. There was a time a couple years ago uh, during the recession that the Yacht Club wasn't doing so hot, and they were looking for more money, more members, Oh, is that the, right, to the right of the Yacht Club? That's the Weaver lot? Yeah. The like those of, houses? No, no houses. It's where they keep... Uh, it's, it's across the canal and where they keep the... They keep... Uh, the boats. It's right, yeah, I'm right. Sorry. It's right in front of um, boat house. Piero's house. Oh, okay. So anyway, they were going to sell that property. Okay. But they never did. So imagine if that was a public park. Oh, yeah. But then people want parking because people don't know how to walk in this town. Yeah, well, that's how. It and that doesn't story. work because it's on Harbor Drive. Yeah. But yes, anyway. that would be nice. I mean, a bench, a little, Dude, Rafa, a, people, Rafa, a little picnic. Get your butts up. Go to Crenin Park. It's a beautiful park. And it it's is right really nice. there. What are you guys complaining about? Come on, people, wake people. up. It's about being able to go on the bay, Griff. On the we bay. can't even go in the water when you're in the bay. There's a great little area next to Crenin Park Marina that's a view of the bay. Salt Bay. I don't know about that. Bay. <laughs> Fucking salt bay. Don't worry about it. Oh, salt bay, the meat guy. <laughs> okay. This guy, I wonder if this is longtime listener Danny DB. Oh my God, I'm excited for this one. Because this cause says, delighted to live here, moved from Kendall. See, that's a good vibe right there. He answered that. I bet you it's DB. He answered that on the survey. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what we need because everybody else with less people and Whatever. I mean, I also I don't. I think it's too many people. Also, but that's awesome. Yes, there was a Number couple of those, fan. which was fun. Oh, what positive affirmations about the key? Oh, I love this one. Have the police let parents parent? Not everyone is a bicycle helmet nervous Nelly. <laughs> oh my God, I love this parent. I want. I want to be a parent. So like it, it was when uh, when I was like eleven or twelve years old yeah. is when the key passed the the helmet, the helmet law. Or There's maybe a I was helmet like thirteen. Law? Yeah, if you're under eighteen, I think you're supposed to wear a helmet. Dude, by law. I've never worn a helmet. No, because you're an adult. But when I was fourteen to eighteen, I didn't. You wear a lot. You you were going on a bike a lot. Yeah, I used to bike to the toll every day. It was a thing for me. Really? I used to pass by the guys rowing at the MRC, say, what's up, after school, and go back. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I never wore a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me keep going through these things. I like these. These are good. Here are two wholesome ones. I am happy as it is. Oh, uh, is that Danny DB again? <laughs> He's our, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, peace comes from within or whatever. I mean. I love Kiva Skane. 
this is another person. Oh, uh, right? keep his skin loves you back. See, give me more good ones, more more positive positive ones. I'd like the village to look more like a village. For example, Coconut Grove. Go move a, to the Grove, bro. As opposed Get out of to here. a series of strip malls. Get out of here, bro. Go to the Grove. Bye. Guys, the strip mall has been around forever. In the key. I know. It's like a thing. It's I a thing. All, I hate them our, too, but... All of our answers to everybody's comments is, Get out of here, Get bro. out of here. <laughs> way, has anybody seen what the Grove has become? Yeah, bro. Yeah, but the resident. Well, yeah, the growth's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah, so. it's pretty Molly. Yeah, itself. bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty Molly. We guys, I I drove by the other day and finally saw the the teardown of Coco Walk, and it made me sad. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, now really? you're gonna have big corporations. Good riddance. Dude. We need good riddance. That's like End a of total, an era. That's like a total strip mall piece of crap. Now dude. welcome to mini Silicon Valley in the Grove. Bro, it's gonna look like parking lot number two. Oh, it's in gonna the look Grove. Like yeah, Brickle City Center crap store. And whatever. it's gonna be twenty eight fifty to go to the movies. Hopefully, yeah, <laughs> but hopefully it's a big dud. You know, hopefully it's just a what? big dud. Why do you want a dud in the Grove? Because then it'll be more chill in the Grove and supposed to... You know. Oh, tiki tiki. Whatever, yeah. we can still go to Barracuda. That's all that matters. Bro, let's do it tonight. Okay, wait. Oh, you like that idea. Okay, sorry. Is it, it's Monday, though. Okay. <laughs> eh, eh. We have seen quite a few families from Venezuela with strange habits, likely with ties <gasps> to the corrupt government of Venezuela. Oh. One of those is close to our home. Oh, my God. <laughs> Somebody's pissed. Someone's pissed off with the so, Venezuelan influx. Back in like 2003, 2004, my buddy Piki he used to live at... Masta? No. Mashta. <laughs> the he, Ocean Club. He used to live at the Ocean Club. Side yeah. note, Brett, who was on the show two yeah. weeks ago... Lives in the apartment that he used to live at? Said oh. Mashta also. Yeah! I'm not the only okay. one. Did so anyway, you say Rickenbacker? I got to call Brett. <laughs> Rickenbacker? Rickenbacker? Going back to this uh, friend of ours, Peaky, <laughs> who you went to his sister's uh, baby, shower. baby shower on yes. Thursday. Anyway, they used to live at the Ocean Club. And at the Ocean Club in Lake... No, sorry, not Lake... Was it Lake Town? Yeah, it was like Lake, Lake Villa. Villa. Lake Villa, Lake Villa, whatever. One of the short ones. One of the, the, the ones that were originally built, the ones closer to Crandon. And at some point, his neighbor was busted with, I forgot the amount. It was like $100,000 in a suitcase. The guy looked The like, Venezuelan suitcase story. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Going to Argentina to, yeah. pay off a, to pay off a bribe to the Argentinian government. Courtesy of Chavez. Chavite. <laughs> what? <laughs> and this guy lived... Uh, he was like neighbors with the guy. And what was funny is that the guy looked the part. He was like big, like mafioso looking dude, like made man type well, of guy. Definitely in Venezuela, they don't have made men. They're just, they're just communists. <laughs> no, they're, you're not walking around paying off $100,000. That's this interesting. Guy's communism for everybody else. So maybe the guy's <laughs> back and he's living next to this guy who's complaining. Living at the Ocean Club. So anyway, I mean, even though this person... <clears throat> Oh, this person should call the police if they really think that's going on next to their, yeah, next right. to their house. Uh, so th- this is another one. <laughs> Increase regulation on community standards, decency, manners, environmental and social. Require new residents of the United States who intend to reside in Key Biscayne <gasps> to take a course on how to be a conscious community member. That's For absurd. example, say hello and excuse me when walking on the sidewalk. Return your grocery card after using it instead of leaving it in a parking spot. Also, increase fines on littering and recycling. Is that many? No, fine, I'm individuals who leave, <laughs> fine individuals who leave trash at the beach or in the park. I agree with that. A shared space should be respected. I agree with that. Please look out for foreign teenagers driving <gasps> at excessive speeds on residential streets. The speed bumps aren't enough. Use the motorcycle officers to enforce speed limit. Keep skin has sadly lost its sense of community, family, safety, and respect in the last 10 to 15 years. It is I, the highest importance that our local government takes action to intervene. I look I, forward to participating in socially remodeling the community to achieve the <gasps> minimal standards of decency we have lost. Jesus Christ. The kids aren't all right. This guy voted for Trump. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's all I have to say. Boom, boom, boom. I listen. I understand that like communities change. I also get frustrated and whatever. But putting it all on like, oh, people from the outside, dude. I bet you there are American kids in expensive cars. Speeding just the same. There is no American kids in Miami, Anna. I don't know what you're there talking are, about. There, I, are. there, there is are. no more American yes, kids. It's there over. Are. <laughs> well, these people are fucked then. I don't know what to say. I mean... We gentrified I think it, the American. We gentrified the American. They're all in Boca Raton. <laughs> we gentrified the Americans out of here. It's true, though, guys. I mean, but, but like, we're, but guys, but these people, like, have a legit, serious hate for... I do have to agree with the manners thing. Outside. The manners thing is pretty bad. Like, no, agree, when you go to a restaurant, a general thing. I think that's thing. a new generation thing. I don't think that's, like, oh, these people are not from America. Give me a break, man. Like... I agree. It's a new generation it's thing. It's a new generation thing. It's not, like... It doesn't have to do with the fact that you're not from here or whatever. And I... Listen, and I also feel frustrated when there's people that are not from here being all crazy, whatever. I, I, I don't know. But there's a way to deal with it. And, and venting your frustrations on a survey is not one of them. What about, you know, I, I, you we're know, sitting here listening to the answers or to the comments of the survey. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, that's where we're at right yeah, now. Yeah, right. I honestly, <laughs> I, I understand how somebody says like foreign or whatever. Foreigners. And they're misguided because I would say like. Most new residents are somewhat like that Crappy. coming into the key because you have to be a certain kind of jet setter globe yeah, trotter to be able to, to, be able to be come here now. here now. Yes, yes. And that comes with a certain attitude, not for everybody, but for a lot a of lot. people. A uh, lot, like 90%. <laughs> and so I kind of feel you. Yeah. I kind of feel you no, on I that. Understand. Just don't, I just don't call everybody a f- foreigner. Sometimes well, but that's the thing. So, so that's the, so. This is the this is the thing that like it gets to me. I guess is because all three of us in this room. I mean, Jonathan and I were born here. You were not, but we're kind of foreigner e, right? My mom got to Cuba skin in nineteen seventy nine. So yeah, my parents I, got here in nineteen eighty two. There you go. Yeah. Booyah. So like, I feel offense, I guess, to the whole foreigner thing because my parents got here in nineteen eighty two, but I know that they're not talking about. Us, they're talking about like ninety something plus, right? But it's weird. I don't know. There's a little fine you, line. You there. know, going back to this, it, well, it's funny you, that, that you mentioned uh, manners and all that stuff. Yeah. It is funny though where I live in Key Colony. Uh, a lot of the Argentine, hi, Hispanic young kids are actually really good with their manners. They they say yeah, hi, good morning. Right. Uh, they let women. Uh, go in and out. Women. Yeah, they they do all the chivalry stuff. So I don't know. Keep calling I guess people it's a, pretty it's nice. a mix and match, but yeah. Um, but yeah, the little kids out there. Rafa, you know who are the least polite in Key Colony? <laughs> Spaniards, a hundred percent. Look, They're very we, rude. Well, we moved over here. My dad. <laughs> I have to agree with that. It. Yeah, I hate to, I hate well, to generalize, it, but, but he, you know, said, we're talking it, he about said it a bunch. He said the he's like the Spaniards who come over here. Number one, so many people come that work in finance, okay, that, that come over here because it's just part of the game. Yeah. You're coming from out of town because you work in finance and you got transferred by your bank. And my dad would always say that the Spaniards who got shipped over here were the guys who were competent at their jobs, but nobody at the office could stand them. So the <laughs> office manager is like, hey, me this you're before. pretty good, but... <laughs> they don't tell them. You're pretty good. You want to go to Miami and get the hell out away from us? And they would ship them all to Miami. <laughs> and that's why they're all obnoxious. And I'm sure it's like that for our, a little bit, all of them. And it's they all not like that from Brazil. You know how you could spot them all, right? Because Spanish people have Spanish stickers on their cars. So oh, wait, wait. and so, they, yeah. So, so, so that was like a, so, so that was a comment. And that's kind of, there, there has been a couple of these. In, there's a, About I foreigners? Mean, there's, yeah. Okay. This next person... Doesn't even I'm beat excited. around the bush. I'm excited. He just starts off less Hispanics. <gasps> <laughs> oh, people hate. But let me say, like, I I, I understand, but you don't, put, you don't put that out in the universe. Of golf carts being prohibited on Crandon. Fix the red light cameras. Enforcement of traffic. Whatever. Lower gasoline prices. Oh, th- yeah. Thanks, guy. Like, let's just you, yeah, let's just do I that. I do agree with with the uh, golf cart thing. I think no, the, less the, is bad. No, no. <laughs> the cops should uh, be on top of their game with kids that are underage. Of course, it's or super not dangerous. Even driving. They don't have a driver's license to even drive a golf cart because it's mayhem. It's super dangerous, dude, with the kids. Uh, golf carts. Somebody says Publix instead of Winn Dixie. This was an, an 
a theme. A recurring theme. Please, yeah. please a lot of bring Publix. Say that. I'm down for that, they man. Let me tell you. The, uh, I want like the real the macaroni and cheese the stuff. Supermarket. I'm down for some Publix. Me too. Fresh Market? <laughs> no, Fresh Market went I down. I like Fresh Market. Somebody says, not just one person, two people say, more pickleball courts. Ask. <laughs> pickleball is the fastest growing sport in America. <laughs> That person's clearly a listener. Clearly. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a, here's a good one. Go, going back to the, uh, the... To the no Hispanics? The no Hispanics <laughs> and foreigner hate. Okay, this is, this is a funny one because this is a, a person who realizes, maybe kind of like us, right? So, uh, more educated people who understand that as expats or immigrants, we need to comply with rules and regulations. Oh, so the other side of the... Yes. It's maybe like, that's us then. Well, it's not us literally because I don't think you wrote, you guys wrote this. No, but like maybe that's like someone that's I don't know our generation that was almost born and raised here and understands the importance of community and the influx of Probably foreigners are also not a bad thing because that's who we are anyway. Anyway, so that's <laughs> from like, the eighties though. From like the 80s, I said, yeah. this is a is a this is a topic that showed up a lot here. Somebody says uh, more cultural events like art fairs, yes. music on the green exhibits, yes. better library, yes. invite authors. Let yes. me say, I love the 4th of July. <gasps> me too, bud. Rafa, me too. was that you? No, it was, was not Was that me. you? But you know what? I did find my comment and I haven't <gasps> read it to you guys. Let's read it's it. It's not funny, though. It's like, oh, whatever. My comment's boring. I should have said, like, no, Spix. <laughs> 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 master, go, master, there go all your friends. Master, yeah. No, wait, Master Spick over here <laughs> that runs the Fourth of July committee. <laughs> no passport. No passport. No passport. Doesn't That's can't show vote. You guys. This is a new Cuba skate. Can't uh. vote. At least he's European. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's got no one. So this one goes up back to, back to being courteous uh. and aesthetics. Get ready for this one. Oh. You guys might like this. People need to generally be more courteous to each other in the village. Most folks are too self-involved to be aware of each other. The crazy driving by all the SUVs and luxury cars uh, is case in point. Please tell the village to replace the Christmas display in the village green to something tropical. Oh. The decoration belongs in New England. (gasps) I love this guy. (laughs) Or woman. (laughs) Yeah. New Christmas decor on the island. Islandy vibe, please. So this is something that I've heard somebody else say about the Ritz Carlton is that the Ritz was built uh, in a very also like northerny vibe. All the rooms inside, those oh, like uh, dark, uh, uh. those dark bars and stuff like that that are inside and in the and the dining rooms and stuff that they don't feel very like tropical. like t- tropical in South Florida. That they feel much more like New England. The restaurant outside does. I kind of agree yeah. with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, but you know, everybody's always outside. Yeah, but the, but the rum bar, the rum bar at the Ritz is good, though. I, mean, I was gonna it's, say it's, it's cool. Good. It's cool. I like the the New England vibe. I like the bartender. He takes care of you. I've only been there once. You know what would be nice? A really upscale, like Bahamian style bar. <gasps> Cocktail. <laughs> Sorry, I love that movie. It's really the best. Even though that was not the Bahamas, I think. <laughs> mm. Can we get a program to teach out-of-the-country visitors and seasonal residents traffic rules and courtesies? I mean, guys, we're living in a globalized world. I'm so effing sorry. It's a problem we all deal with in every city, every major city. It is not a Key game problem. It is a major city problem. Go to New York. Go, to, go anywhere. Go anywhere that's a big city. This person says, put back the toll and restrict access to the village by oh, non-residents. I like that. I like that. Put back the toll. Uh, this poor person. Reduce rental costs. I'm moving out of the island after 19 years because oh. I can't afford housing here anymore. I bet there's a lot of people who are yeah, feeling that year after year. All yeah. of our friends. Of all people. of our yeah. friends. All of our friends. Yeah. Exactly. That's sad. Sorry, bud. Calypso type bar, says Kevin. Kevin, you're right. That would be amazing. Kevin, Rafa will meet you there and drink <laughs> a pina colada with you on the rocks. Not a, not a frozen colada. one. Rafa likes uh, uh, coladas on the rocks. The person says, restaurants on the beach would be nice. Currently, there are only two at the Rich, which is quite expensive. Yep. Yes. And one at Bill Bags. Agree. Re- you know, it's, that, that was just, I guess, like a 
poor planning from the outset of the key that that they didn't kind of make like a boardwalk instead of letting all the buildings have the front they they gave I it agree. all away and then it just didn't work out now at the same time when those buildings were built and if you think about how buildings were built even in Miami Beach and uh and here up until i guess colony being the last one maybe or or some of the other ones they would build these so the key colony had the bar already ever since it was built by the pool mm-hmm. and um some of these other buildings had these kind of facilities too and then by the 80s late 80s early throughout the entire 90s they were never staffed or used they just weren't profitable to like nobody was using those things now they're kind of making a comeback and even though they're part of the condos at least there's something you know i there was one night i think jonathan you were there maybe we walked together i don't know but we walked from key colony to the cantina at the ritz and had dinner Mm -hmm. and that was one of the most pleasant things ever and that's the only option is the cantina it was not romantic at all but but, Just putting that out there. Uh, no, well, no, everyone was there. It was like, Kaido was there. <laughs> it was our friends. But it was just so pleasant to be able to walk the beach to a restaurant, walk up to the restaurant. And the, it's frustrating that the cantina, the Ritz, is the only option. You can't do that anywhere else. I mean, Kikolni has a restaurant, but it's not like a... Uh, yeah, no, I mean, for dinner one night, like have drinks. Dinner, yeah, yeah, yeah man, it's so nice to walk the beach... I mean, not right now. It's a seaweedy. This guy says, uh, stop restaurants with television screens. Oh, I agree I with him. <laughs> I like him, too. I think that's funny. Uh, I, I mean, I do get bothered when that happens. I think it's funny that it. you would put it on a survey like this. But at the same time, I know that, you know, some of these places that people do go to watch sports. I think it is kind of it's kind of tacky to be there for dinner. And then there's... TV TVs on. all over. It's horrible. I get if it's like a sporting event, but maybe by the bar or something. Like, like what's it? Uh, Novecento does it well. I feel like they have TVs at the bar, but not the restaurant. They, they have two giant TVs at the restaurant. They, they do. Have. Well, oh, at maybe. least during the World during Cup. During the World Cup. I yeah. don't think they do otherwise. Maybe I'm wrong. Or I'll do you it. want a light? Yeah, I can barely see. Okay, let's see what we got here. Studio's getting Keep dark, going. everybody. Summer's over. This one is hilarious because it just speaks to it just speaks to the people who are writing into this thing. The community center front desk should send faxes for its members with guidelines. <laughs> like like faxes that are less than 15 pages long. This person wants a fax of what's going on in the community center. That is hilarious. What year is it? They want a fax. Mm, I dude, no faxes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No spicks and no faxes, okay? Ooh. Rafa, just turn on the lights at the studio. Now, what would you guys say? Ooh, I have a lot of things to say. Actually. What would you guys say if the key asked you, uh, what would you do to make this better? I mean, if the key did ask us, but we didn't say anything. They did ask you, but yeah. you didn't reply. <laughs> Definitely uh, start enforcing bicyclists. And them breaking the laws on the roads. That was very a, common in here. That's that's like wow. Uh, and pretty much it. That you know. And and parents, please don't take your iPads to a restaurant. Oh Leave them yeah. at home. Please. Um, almost at every table, I see an iPad. Get your kid to socialize. It makes them a lot better and a lot smarter. Take them a coloring book. Something. Something that's not an iPad. For Christ's sake. Slap them. Well, everybody, he's like from that. Bilbao. That's what they do in Bilbao. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be positive. I like the key. I, I mean, the things <laughs> I want to change are not the government run. I mean, like the restaurants on the beach. That's not. They're not going to change. They can't change that realistically. Those smart cameras are coming soon. I hope they really help with the traffic. Uh, ew, man, big brother, who are you? Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. It's just a it's a smart do you know you guys no, don't I understand. Know, I don't anything. know what it is. I just don't like the idea. I know what it is. We it just don't like cameras. It doesn't actually, we don't like camera. Yeah. Cam- the word camera, no. By the it, way, but the camera might save me on Friday night if it, just it was you that took my rods. <laughs> if you're listening and you stole Jonathan Rod, Jonathan I will Rod, find you. We're gonna find it you just, through the camera. It just senses uh how many cars are there. It's not like a it's not like actively looking at which cars. It just like Fine. is like, you know, 
It's like a laser. Three cars. That's okay. What they say, Rafa. I have a quick question. Tell you. you know about the show. Well, you've seen those cameras that are on there already. I don't know what those are for. About the show, I have a quick question. So, like, now that we're done with the survey stuff, do you ever read back the comments that people write up during the show? Yeah, of course, I read them. Okay, just wonder. Yeah, mm-hmm. I check them out. I give a like. So I try to give a like to everybody. Did anyone I, comment I'm very during the show for all the uh, for all the the listeners? And I would love for people to tell us, hey, I wish you guys would talk about this. Or I wish you guys would talk about this, and I'll do a little research, and, and we can talk about anything. Remember what well, happens with that, wanna... Ruff. You give free range to people. Just people I'm not saying you... I'm going to talk about anything. Did anyone comment tonight? Yeah, there's a bunch of comments. Oh. I'll get to those in a second. We got one more little part of the survey here. <laughs> it was, uh, check the following reasons that may prevent you or other members of your household from using the parks, the rec center, or other facilities. What? And so, why would, so, so many people wrote why they wouldn't use... Um, some of the things, and people say like lack of parking, fees are too high, uh, classes are full. Too many spicks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this one's funny. Do you guys know Iggy? Like, uh, the swimming guy. Iggy uses too many lanes in the pool. <gasps> this other person says, uh, my building has a gym and I have an active social life off the key. And so they don't use the facilities. Okay, good for you. I mean, this one's a little sad. It's in all caps, and it says, "My husband's health limits our activities." Oh. So the person says, "No money for any fees." What? No money for the fees. Oh the rent yeah, I mean, because it's all going to the rent. This person says, "I don't know if it's the transcription is wrong, but it made me laugh because they say." So it doesn't. It, this is the reply to why don't you use the facilities? They write. Bill Boggs and Crandon and Cran and Crandon Golf Course. I guess it wasn't as funny as when I read it. This other person says, "I'm sick, so I don't go out." Okay, Ralph. <laughs> okay, finally, last one, last one, last comment. Okay, how do you get your news from the village? Okay, Rat the, Radio. I hope nobody nobody some, wrote Rat Radio. Some people said radio. But I don't... Four people said radio. <laughs> Do they mean the rats? That means us. I don't know. I think that means us. That's it. Maybe they mean well, the rats. it's Manny radio. Campbell. We made it. So, so <laughs> we look, made it. We some made of the things... He doesn't have current news, by the way. Village he doesn't. website, right, says, local newspapers, local television, local radio, newspapers. Facebook, next door, email updates, friends, family, WhatsApp chats. WhatsApp. Email blasts. <laughs> but then it says other, and Face, uh, you get all these things like brochures, Instagram, uh, signs at the center, front desk. One guy says, electric billboard at entrance of Cubus Ah, I love this guy. There is He's no hilarious. way anybody hilarious. is getting their news from that little billboard. I you love that it. he wrote that, though. Like, he's <laughs> funny. It's clearly a dark joke. It's hilarious. Nobody is getting their, their news from that thing. That thing is worthless. You have to be stuck in traffic to even look at it. And <laughs> you have to be stuck really far back. Because if not, you're going to miss it. So, I don't believe you. I get the news depending on where the flag is uh, on the pole. <laughs> <laughs> at the entrance of the key. Anyway, if you want to see this thing, go to the village website and do a search or something. I don't know where it is. What? But you know where it is because you just read 20,000 comments. I don't know where I got it. it. I got it linked 748, to me by somebody else. 748. 748 on this uh, Monday. And we don't care. September 10th. And I want we to don't thank care. everybody who's listening out there. For the faxes, exactly. Fax us uh, your thoughts. Fax us your ideas. Fassy smile, what was okay, it called? Huh? Facsimile? Facsimile, there you go. <laughs> Fassy smile. Fassy smile? Fassy smile. Facsimile? Facsimile? Come on, guys, come on. Okay. Guys, come on, Johnny. <laughs> it's Monday, September 10th, 2018. <laughs> it's uh. One year anniversary of Irma. It's 10 to 8. Apparently, 10, our friend Manny told us. Yeah. It's the one year anniversary of Hurricane Irma. Wow. And uh, we got calendar here. This Friday, <gasps> September 14th. Is it me? Yes. Okay. So, so I've been working on this exhibition. <laughs> 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 Number one, I'm not an artist. 
Number two, I didn't curate it. But number three, I have organized this exhibition with some colleagues. Number four, she's not an artist. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be great. I've been installing it for a couple of weeks now. I'm exhausted. Um, it's going to be at 7 p.m. on Friday. Oh, man, what's the address? It's on 29th Terrace on Northwest 7th Avenue. It's a block north of Las Rosas. So go have a drink and then come have a drink with us and see the exhibition. There will be live performances, and I don't mean bands. I mean performance art. Uh, one is a local artist, Jenna Balf, which is lead singer of Donzi, a band that the radio loves. Um, the other performance is from an artist from New York, Sandy Smiles. I think around 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. We're still figuring that out. And I was the editor for the catalog, so you could pick up a copy at the exhibition opening. And I'm excited. A lot of us are going to be there. Yeah, hell yeah. There is going to be drinks and Maybe. food. It is organized by Placeholder, and you can check them out. And, and by them, I mean us. Placeholder Gallery on and, Facebook. And we'll share the event on the uh, yes on the page. Yes. So check that out. Um, it's a group exhibition, and I could talk it's about what it's about. Friday. But I don't know if everybody wants to hear that. We could see it in the thing. We Fine. don't have to get so far into it. Fine. On September 15th, the next day, is Coastal Cleanup Day. This is something that Manny is involved with. Of course. And anybody else who wants to join in should get in contact with him or look up for look up events that happen because it's like a it's a I think it's a Nash I wouldn't say it's a national event, but I'm not completely sure. Coastal cleanup, September fifteenth. Do your part. Manny's oh, that's what it is. Manny's gonna lead a paddle out Good. there to go clean up. Like and it. I'm sure we'll share it on the page also. Uh, stay tuned. And finally, on October 19th and 20th, The Haunted Hike comes back to Cape Florida, Bill Bag State Park. Um, the way it works is a bunch of community, a bunch of people from the community set up these little <laughs> patches of haunted house inside the park, inside these nature trails. And it gets really spooky after dark. And it's a really good time. It's fun. I liked it. It was cool. Last year, cool. last year, I saw a lot of kids crying and stuff like that. Like, people were genuinely scared. So it's like a, it's a, it's a real, good, it's, it's just proper. It's and there's a proper other stuff. Spooky what, thing. Wasn't there like food and like a petting zoo or something? So yeah, they bring like uh, they bring the <laughs> food trucks out there, you know, and we, you know, people bring their coolers and stuff. It was, it was a great time. Okay, and I think that's it. What Unless you want to talk about that coming? opening and closing of. We kind of mentioned it. What? We don't really know the details. Oh, is is it, no, the ibis uh, is, is... Somebody I said mean, they were remodeling, but then... I, I thought it was you because true. you're the number one fan of no, Kino. No, I, I didn't go back when I realized it was just... It smelled like mold. Oh, really? You finally... Like you're... Yeah. You finally smelled just, it? It just got worse. Did you get used to 900 or what? I don't really have a place here to drink. It's kind of sad. Let's Griff put needs it on a the place, survey. guys. Griff, Griff needs a place to well, drink. Reason, but I'm not going to say friends. it's called Gypsy. Oh, oh. The Gypsy is always a place to drink. We should make a bar there. We have a great song. With the bartender. But anyways, okay. good show, guys. Good show. I, Very good show. Kevin, I'll get to your traffic concern by next time. Yes, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm every Kevin. construction project that ever was done all had impact studies done, and then they, they say that it's not going to have any impact on traffic. Ref right. was looking through his computer, by the way. I'm, I mean, I'm looking through the comments. I want to say hi to everybody who's listening, and thank you for listening. Who's listening? I can't get through them all because it's kind of distracting to read at the same Come time. Come on. As, you got through all the comments on the surveys. You can't get all the comments on the Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're, 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 I agree. They're, they're all kind of reactions to what we said. and We're fucking with you. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll be back next week. Any cool comments though? Like any fun comments? Any how many listeners? Who's listening? <laughs> uh, yeah, we got all our buddies here, and I want to thank. Even though them Manny's all. not on the show, dang. Um, <laughs> got a little history lesson here from Uh-oh. Chucky. He says the square was built in 1980. Thank 7-11 you. Shopping center was built in 1960. KB Shopping Which Center. Which one was 1960? Sorry. Seven Eleven Shopping Center, Harbor oh. Plaza. Uh, Key Biscayne Shopping Center, which is no Chento and stuff, is 1950s. Post oh. Office, Les Planades, is 
82. Sir Pizza. Oh, so it's Center. not 70s. Oh, it's not 70s. see. Sir Pizza's 1960. Old Oasis, 1950s. The rest <sighs> are new. Old Oasis. You see, Thanks, that was history yeah. that we've lost. Hold out out here. Yeah, Chuck, thank you very much. That was awesome. You were a, cool a long time listener. <laughs> For real. By the way, do we still do trivia on the show? I haven't you been here. You know, here we do trivia every once in a while, but. Nobody calls. No, we are not live on Ooh. FM right now. We. Haven't been on FM for a little bit, but we hope to be back. What? Our equipment melted? Everything melted, yeah. Everything melted this summer. It's fall now. Well, not really, but is it? No, it's not. Officially for the show, we are out of the summer melt series, and we are back to being... What, our 30-minute shows that we (laughs) had nothing to talk about? Yeah, exactly. There's more going on now. Automatically, there's more going on with the election. Yeah, for the listeners, you guys can notice that Rafa's on fire. On On fire. 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 You're late, Rafa. So he's not jumping off the boat yet, everybody. <laughs> oh, he's back? Are you back to hosting? Uh, right. He's still to host? here. He's still You're here. Wanting he's to still host here. now? Oh, no. Rafa's nodding. No. Yeah, I want to do the other show. Definitely. Oh, you know what's funny? At, uh, Have you gotten any applications for hosts? Now that we're kind of like, this is the post show, guys. We're already just talking yeah, this random is the after stuff. Show, yeah? But I'll tell you, I was at Mike Davies' um, cheese party. And. <laughs> After I ate all the cheese, I was talking to a longtime friend of the show, uh, Tom McCormick. Hey. Yeah. And he told me, he was kinder about it, he, but he basically told me, hey, stop your little crybaby fucking fits on the show. Because Thank, it's you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Tom, he airs all our dirty laundry. It's absurd. If Tom's listening, he's laundry. such a diva, this guy. He, he cries about, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to host anymore. I think it's an interesting topic for the show, for people to know. Our dirty laundry, What the laundry? show no. is going through and what uh, happens on this show. I'm thinking, just right now, I'm thinking of this opportunity that kind of came up but no, it's not really an opportunity but it's a little thing and the, the, the people on the show might want to know that, that we want a permanent space that we want uh, you we know, there's a way we. oh sorry we. that's right it's, 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 that's the worst part nah, we. I'm not even going to get in you should and then Tom can rag on you later <laughs> yeah <laughs> don't give me no we yeah exactly I say we, we. I should be saying I I guess I've been oh. wanting a s- Never mind. Okay, <laughs> this is stupid. Save it for another day. Anyways, thank you for listening, everyone. Where are we going? Nowhere. Tonight? You're yeah. Barracuda. Barracuda. Ooh, Barracuda. Oh, damn. That was Why one of my songs a few weeks ago. That was one of my songs. <laughs> okay, guys, I thank was? you for listening. You can subscribe to the show on your iTunes. If you just look us up if, uh, in the comments there, we, put, we always post a link. You can just click on that and you subscribe and you get the shows. So you don't have to listen to us live every time. And you can catch it. It automatically downloads to your phone. Everything's nice. So check that out. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, all that stuff. Go to my thing. Go to my really thing. He- it helps us out. I think you'll like it. This Friday, we got the event. I'm really particular about art and artists and work. And, I, and this parties. Is a, this is a really, <laughs> it's a really good project. And yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. On three. Ready? One, two, three. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.